So we're very close to Halloween. So naturally that means that as Revit users or anyone in the AEC industry, it's time to play around and model some pumpkins. Luckily, Zach Cron from the Dynamo team did a Dynamo office hours about a year ago, showing how to do just that. The sample graphs were shared and all those good things and I'll link all that below. Um, so I wanted to model some pumpkins. In addition to that, the company Overture, who makes 3D printing filament, I talked about them in my last video uh, because it's a 3D printer filament that I like a lot. They have a new filament that is a orange glow in the dark and they sent some over. Once again, Zach's whole office hours is linked below uh, for you to follow along. There's a lot of great geometry things to learn along the way in that office hours. Uh, so while the focus is on creating pumpkins, uh, you learn a lot of really good things along the way. So that is in the, the link below. Uh, first, I have one right here. Uh, it's kind of a just normal pumpkin. It doesn't have uh, a carving or anything. And it's actually printed in a way called vase mode to where it's a very, very thin wall. And you can kind of see that it's really, really hollow. I did that kind of as a test print. It printed really fast. So that's part of the reason I did that. And yeah, it's kind of this warped weird shape right from Dynamo, which is kind of interesting. Uh, so that's the first one I printed. As you can see, I also had one with a face and I managed to print probably the most unsettling jack-o-lantern that I've ever seen before. Uh, so you can see I colored in the face. I printed it all in the orange and it is like one of the creepiest things ever. It's not fun. It doesn't have triangle eyes or anything like that. And some of my filament actually kind of stuck out. So it looks like it's growing fangs as well. Uh, one of the creepiest things ever. And I don't know, I, I don't know that this one's staying on my desk. So yeah, that one's a little fun. Uh, in addition to that, the folks from Overture have shared a model on printables uh, for you to be able to print as well. So I printed this fun little ghost guy as well. Uh, he does glow, so I'll throw in a little clip of it glowing. Uh, the bottom's the orange glow, which glows green and dark. And the top's the white glow filament, which glows blue in the dark, which is really cool. Uh, so this little guy's fun. I had to print this to kind of cleanse this thing out of the room. So yeah, this one's one of the fun ones that'll stay uh, on my desk for a while. It is printed in three parts. So the orange part's part one, the white part's part two, and then the black uh, eyes, mouth, and the stem, I didn't have anything brown, uh, are the other parts as well. So pretty cool print. I'll include a link for that below as well. Uh, this, um, this filament is Overture's Easy PLA. Uh, it's glow in the dark once again, and it prints really nicely. I loaded it up in the printer and I was able to get prints popping out pretty quickly, which is pretty cool. A uh, little bit of um, stringing in here and there, but other than that, it printed right off the bat. Mm -hmm. I have found that the glow in the dark, the white, glows much better than the orange from Overture as well. So that's kind of what the top is. And once again, I'll throw in the clip but that one glows a lot better than the orange. The orange has a slight greenish glow to it at night, which is pretty cool. Now, the last thing that I printed are these little paper things. So another one of these kind of just fun things. It's like a little paper bag, but it's plastic. It prints in one piece and you fold it up. Another free model on printables. With this orange filament, I just wanted to try all the different things that I can. I can actually see really practical use cases as well for this filament uh, to where during the day it's orange, so something that needs high visibility, and then at night it can glow a subtle green. So uh, this would be kind of cool for anything that you need to reach for. I recently printed a little bag holder for dog poop bags um, that's outside in black filament. 
I think printing it in this orange that glows would make it easy to find the bags as well. So kind of another potential use case. And once again, Halloween is really close. So I wanted to kind of show a quick video of printing some fun things, designing them in Dynamo and printing them, printing a few free models as well. Uh, so yeah, check out the links below if you want any of these models. Other than that, happy Halloween, everyone. And yeah, make sure you go check out that Dynamo office hours about designing pumpkins and design some very unhinged pumpkins, if you will, in Dynamo. And if you have a 3D printer, print them out and send them to me because I'd love to see them. Other than that, quick video, we'll see you in the next one.